Welcome back, everybody, to our Harmonious Healing Program. This is the most complicated reality I have ever embraced. It's been my lifetime of study. How can we be really healthy on all levels so that we are completely free of disease, dis-ease, on a personal and also a global level? We have so much dis-ease in our world. We have physical disease, and I've watched many of my family struggle, not just with genetic limitations, but also as a result of lifestyle choice, so that they've confronted as they've aged all sorts of physical disease. We see billions of dollars being spent around the world to combat obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and so much more. And where does all of this come from? Does it come from perception, from a mental level, then into an emotional level, then into a physical level? And what about the spiritual level? Could all our disease simply come because we are too disconnected from the energy of pure vitality that can keep us strong and healthy no matter what our age? Do we have a limitless source of energy that is constantly vibrating through us that allows our body to be self-regenerating. Why not? The fact is, yes. Some of you might have read the work of Anita Morjani, who was riddled with cancer. And then she came into a massive realization and experience of her true nature. And in that experience, all the tumors dissolved and she had a spontaneous healing experience. What stimulated that? Do we have this power within us? And the answer is yes, yes, yes. Every few days we have a brand new stomach lining. Within two years, there's not one atom the same in our body, not one cell the same in our body. As it is today, we have a brand new skeleton. We are actually built to be self-sustaining and self-regenerating. And we will cover the self-sustaining part in us being source-fed course. But in this course, we're going to look at self-regeneration, providing many ways of regenerating and boosting the system getting back vitality, getting back strength, releasing old energies we no longer need. In our previous course, we did the decluttering of our home. We did the sacred portals, the activation of our homes and to radiate very particular frequencies. The course before that, we did the zone changing of changing frequencies within our bodies so that we can live in the zone of our choice. But this course, we're going to go very deeply and specifically into maximizing vitality so that we are physically, emotionally, mentally, and so spiritually healthy as well, so that we are free from all dis ease. So we hope you will join us, that you'll tune in. And as we share, you feel like, yep, let's do this one with Jasmine, because these courses are part of our freedom series, as we share the things that I've been learning over the last six decades, as I'm now moving towards my mid 60s, sharing something I've been interested in since I was a child, always experimenting 
how to bring out the best in my body from athletics to nutrition to yoga to nearly 50 years of meditation. We're going to put all of this together along with some higher insights, a different perspective to look at being free from all dis-ease. We look forward to you beginning this with us soon. I have seen a disease-free world where everybody is so well nourished physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually that how we live together is very, very different and this world is coming. We are merging now with the current status quo reality we have with this new way of being. Let's share some of the tools and techniques to speed up this merge. It's going, it is happening, it's going to happen, it is being locked in. I remember watching an interview with um, William Shatner from Star Trek and he said they had no idea the impact of this imagination and ideas they were bringing forth in Star Trek would have on medicine in the future. But all those children watching that series, and me too, loving all of that, they saw these devices that weren't yet in physical reality. They were ideas by the crew of Star Trek and their creators. But now they are all physically here being used in medical circles today. So everything begins with the idea of something. Can we be free of disease physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually, not just individually, but globally? What does that look like? What steps do we need to take to bring this into reality, not just for one, but for all when they are ready? That is what we're interested in sharing in this course.